May the peace of God that surpasses every understanding come to you and your home. I know and I trust the Lord that it is well with you and it is well with your soul. Continue to have faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. For the word of God says that as men that put their faith and trust in him, he never fail them. Jesus Christ will not fail you. Sometimes things happen and we think that the way it has happened, it means Christ has failed us. But I want you to know that no, irrespective of what happens, Jesus is very truthful and he will never fail you. Amen. Shall we go through the word of God? This is one of the scriptures that many years ago I read and uh, I was so much touched. It transformed my life. But I believe that this morning we may not be able to cover them all. But I believe there are some points there that is going to be able to help you. Luke chapter 7, verses, let me pick verses 13 and 14. When the Lord saw her, he had compassion on her and said to her, Do not weep. Then he came and touched the open coffin, and uh, those who carried him stood still. And he said, Young man, I say to you, arise. So he who was dead sat up and began to speak, and he presented him to his mother. Praise the Lord. And what makes me so happy and it's verse 16, the last part, and they said, God has visited his people. This morning, God is visiting your home. The story talks about a widow who has one and only son who was taking care of her. And it happened that the son also died. This woman lost hope. There wasn't anything that he could do. But the Bible says that in the midst of her hopeless situation, she came to meet Jesus Christ. It is only through Jesus that every hopeless situation will turn to be a hopeful situation. Maybe I think I have a bad idea. Na ne ba bere ma ba akopa o hwe no na bere ma no enso ewu e ye bibre mu ha enka ye be bo ma men no be yi kese ye be ga che ni se o ba be ma ba akopa o hwe wo o no ena wo wu ade ba akon ya na ye ya ni se se bibi bo ni bi e ba obi so a se enka ye nyina ba ji o nyankopon adi na ne ho ato no no ne ya sha se se we can be be born it here with you. Child of God, listen to me. Let what people will say say about your life. But there is one thing that I want you to know that Jesus Christ knows the best. Let what people want to say, let them say. But when you meet Jesus Christ, your life will never remain the same. The Bible says that Jesus Christ met this widow and that he had compassion on her. This morning, may Jesus Christ have compassion on you. Whatever that you are going through, I speak that the hand of God will bring compassion into your home. The hand of God will bring compassion into your business. The hand of God will bring compassion into your life. Whatever that is happening to you, anytime God's compassionate move or his love move, his bowels moved him and the miracle happens. This morning, I see that God's compassion is coming to your home. And the hand of God that transforms everything is going to transform your life. You are not alone. The Lord is with you. And the Bible says that, yes, when this woman widow met Jesus, what she has lost, where there was no hope, Jesus turned the hopeless situation to a hopeful situation. May Jesus Christ this morning turn every hopeless situation in your life to a very hopeful end. God has visited his people. May God visit your home. 
May God visit your family. May God visit his people. Lord, we pray, visit us. Visit our nation, Ghana. Visit Africa. Visit the world. Our brothers and our sisters are far away overseas. At this moment, it is only you that can visit them. Shall we pray? Father, we remind you of your compassionate love. Your hand, when it moves, turn every hopeless situation to a very hopeful situation. The Bible says, Jesus Christ Jesus Jesus